The next part that we're going to explore is the part where the control center is going to go open and then have a look at the default applications. So we've done already the personalization display and the default. Often we want to tell the system, forget about using this or that um, application for the browsing, for instance, for the mail, for text, for music, for video, picture and terminal. So there's lots of things you can actually uh, add or click. So if you say, if you well, it's not your thing, it's gonna be Firefox, it's just one click away. In the case of mail, we need to install an application, it seems. In text, we have a lot of possibilities. And if there are things missing, you can always try and to find them again with uh, add and then navigate to the part. It's always gonna be, well, application-wise, it's gonna be sure thing. Well, two things. Either it's gonna be an opt, often opt is, is keeping the special kind of applications, what you call special, right, these guys. But uh, the others are more inclined to be found in user bin and sometimes also in user local bin, depending if you install something specific, right? So that's where you would find these applications if they're not uh, supplied, if not shown in here, you need to navigate to it. But basically everything is available, so uh, there's no need to add anything. Everything that is installed is shown. I can tell the picture to open with Nomax or something else. And everything is set the way I like it, um, that's fine. But of course there are so many people and uh, this was never 100% the way you want it. So this is the place to set your default applications. All right, enjoy.